In part one of this series of videos about building Sherry's grooming van, we talked about the inverter system and that we added a generator. This video is about the generator that we added and how it works into the system. I want more air conditioning, but the problem is that I'm at the limit that most of my customers' electric can supply me. So we can't add any more air conditioning to the van. Adding more AC is a priority, but I had to solve the power issues. A generator is the only affordable solution, but what to get and where to put it. Cost is an issue, so I turned to Harbor Freight. They have a lot of different generators, but the choices were narrowed down by four things. It had to have electric start, it had to be carb compliant, smallest package, and price. The least expensive choice was the Predator 8750 watt generator. This has 7,000 running watts and 8750 peak watts. This will power everything in the grooming salon, but where to put it? There really was only one place, the wet bay in the back of the van. But you cannot run a generator inside an occupied area. This led to the use of slides to move it out of the van when it is in use. The slides came from Amazon and are rated for 200 pounds for each pair. By mounting two pairs, I can cover the weight of the generator, fuel, and the vibration from running the generator. These are full length slides and are very strong. The slides are designed to mount to a wall on each side of a drawer. There is no wall in this area of the van, so I had to build a steel frame from one and a half inch angle steel. A frame for each side and a mounting frame to bolt to the generator cage. The frames are bolted to the aluminum floor of the van to handle the tipping weight of the generator. To use the generator at a customer, you only need to pull it out plug the shore connection into the generator and use the electric start to fire it up. The generator even powers the converter charger and so makes everything on the inverter work better. The only problem is the noise. If I need to use a generator, I need to first make sure that the dog's not going to be spooked by that noise. I've been working on the noise issues with some sound deadening material. I've bolted on to the generator and the interior of the salon area. This is a work in progress. Is it unworkable? No, it's just a little louder than the HV dryer behind the wall, but the dryer only runs for 20 to 40 minutes maximum. To power the AC, the generator would have to run for two or more hours. So while it does solve the power issue, it created the sound issue. As I said, it's a work in progress. The generator did solve another issue though, and that is how to power my 240 volt MIG welder. It does this quite well, and the sound is not a big issue for this because I am making more noise than the generator is when I'm cutting, grinding, and in general, working with metal. I only need to run the generator when I need the extra power. So when I'm not using the van, Bill can still use it for his welding projects. I still want my second AC unit. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe and also check out our other videos.